Yeah. Sharon, good morning. Well, this new strategy from the White House revolves around a new website where Americans can access things like tests and even antiviral pills, but the White House says it needs $22 billion from Congress. It's a one-stop shop for COVID-19 resources, COVID.gov, a government tool meant to help Americans live with the pandemic. It means that COVID-19 no longer controls our lives. That's what it means. With the click of a button, people can find tests, vaccines, and treatments all in one place. But to keep those resources available, the president is asking Congress for $22 billion in new funding. Without more funding, we risk running out of the supply by this fall. But $15 billion in COVID spending was recently stripped out of the omnibus bill. And many members of Congress, especially Republicans, are resistant to the idea of more pandemic spending. Democrats flooded the economy with unnecessary government money and the economy overheated as a result. We don't know where the waste and fraud is going. Meanwhile, the White House is also working to facilitate the rollout of a second booster shot after the FDA approved it for people 50 and older and those who are immunocompromised. It's clear that after a period of time that you can get a benefit of an optimal amount of protection if you get an additional boost. President Biden received his second booster and Dr. Anthony Fauci encourages people who qualify to get it too. We want to stay ahead of this virus. We don't want to be chasing it. Now, a bipartisan group of senators is still working on a possible new COVID funding relief package, but it appears that the amount of money they're considering is much smaller than what the president is asking for. Reporting live in Washington, Alexandra Limon. All right. Thank you so much, Alex, and we'll see you later in the show.